สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai Thoughts. My name is Pam. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what is the bad thing in Thailand that no one gonna tell you. And obviously, every country have the bad thing and the good thing, right? So today, I'm gonna show you what is the bad thing if you come to Thailand, you're gonna experience it. So you can prepare yourself. And if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and also share your thoughts about this experience in Thailand. Have you have this experience, or you plan to come to Thailand? Let's share it down below. Let's go. Number one road problem. This thing I include everything you r e gonna see on the road, and I'm gonna mention Bangkok first. People are drive so crazy. They're gonna go everywhere that they want, like without care about the rules or the law at all. And of course, motorbike that's a huge problem. They will go everywhere, even though they have like a slightly way to go, but they will do it. And also, if you use Grab or any kind of transport. App, they will not give you helmet. I think this come with majority of Thai people. They don't want to smell anybody like his wedding, and the police is not strict to the rules, so that's why they kind of like let it be. And everyone do that as a normal. So if you have an accident, it might be a huge problem. So if you have to use motorbike, please ask for the helmet. It's not just a car and motorbike. Also, if you're walking into the street. It's just so difficult because our footpath is not made for human who wanna walk. I guess because sometimes you will saw motorbike into the footpath and people like a vendor, street vendor, they will put the whole store there. If you have to walk, maybe sometimes you have to walk on the street, which is very very dangerous. This is a problem in Bangkok, right? For the province that famous, just like Chiang Mai, Phuket, or something. Just easy, so easy for you to rent a car or motorbike because some store don't even ask for your license, your driver license. So it's end up with a lot of foreigners who wanna try to ride a motorbike and. They like go like a snake sometimes. It's just a lot of things happening. They not get used to on the left side of road, and when they turn, they just turn right away. So you have to be really careful about that. So just be careful if you come to Thailand. You're gonna meet this problem for sure. Number two, sugar. It's become a lot of problem lately. Even though for me as a Thai person, if you order milk tea, coffee. I have personally to say every time that less sweet because I don't know why it's become like more sweet and sweeter. They have the research that a lot of sugar that they put into the drink tea in Seven Eleven compared to the same brand in another country. In Thailand, it's more sweet and they put a lot of sugar here. So when you come to Thailand, when you gonna order any drink, I suggest you to order. One n o i s which mean little sweet or less sweet. This is gonna help. Number three, taxi. Of course, this is a huge problem. Whenever you go, right, taxi is gonna be easier way to like take you around. So, for my suggestion, if you have Grab, maybe it's just a little bit expensive, but less headache for sure. But If anything happen, I suggest you to use your phone, record a video, and post it online or somewhere else, like um, in Facebook, expat Thai group. It's gonna go viral because for me, as a Thai person and a lot of Thai people, they cannot accept that bad attitude from taxi as well. Because most of the time, for me as a Thai person, get denied from taxi, like oh, I'm not gonna go this, and we get scammed by the meter as well. So. Please record the video if you think something go wrong. For my suggestion, I think better to use Grab or Bo or Line application. Number four, pollution. About the air quality here in Thailand is not that good lately. I think if you plan to travel here, it just happen in certain time at end of the year because it finished raining season and it's about to go to winter season. So it's like no wind, no rain, nothing at all, and a lot of people they burn the trash. They don't have like strict 
laws to penalty those people who burn the trash in another province. So it's gonna happen around November to December. Sometimes it starts at early October. So just be careful around at the end of the year or just prepare your mask. Even me as a Thai, we still have to take care of ourselves because the government doesn't have the laws to support this thing yet. Number five, language barrier. I know now they have the application like Google Translate and everything, right? But if you have to contact like in another province with like an older vendor, it could be so much challenging. It's gonna be difficult sometimes and you might get upset with our accent or we cannot speak well when you get into trouble. It's impossible that you expect everyone will speak English in Thailand. The accent could be problem as well. So just prepare yourself. Number six, there are a lot of low quality foreigners here. You might get treated by someone that they stereotype every foreigner are bad. As from the news, when they do something that they kind of get used to in their country and they do in Thailand that Thai people don't like. So they're gonna stereotype everybody, gonna do the same. That's why if you get someone treat you bad, don't take it personal because it might come from their experience, lack of education. And yeah, you're gonna be fine because most of people are gonna treat you nicely here. Number seven, heat. You might think it's gonna be joking about the heat and the sun in Thailand, but I warning you just be prepared yourself because it actually have someone die from the heat it's overheat outside and it's just the heat and humid you have to prepare yourself with your light shirt your water and I suggest you when you saw some local use an umbrella during sunny day it's no joke it's freaking hot it can burn your skin and you're gonna get burned like in five minutes or ten minutes just prepare yourself. Number eight, paperwork. I've heard a lot of foreigners complain about this. This is not just happen for foreigners. Even though as a Thai, when we have to do something under government things, it's just a lot of process and a lot of nonsense paper for no reason. If you're gonna extend your visa or do something that have to connect with the government, I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna take much longer than you expected and use a lot of paperwork. Number nine, people will not tell you when you do something wrong. What I mean about this, for example, if you do something bad in Thailand, just like you use your voice louder in SkyTrain or you smoking in restaurant, which is not allowed, instead of they will come in front of you and tell you, please don't do this, this is rude or this is illegal or whatever, they will sneak in filming you and post it online or sometimes send it to their friends. Because in Thai culture, we have the term of Grand Jai, which it is really difficult to explain. It's just like when people do something bad, we will not confront and tell it directly because we are afraid to lose our face and we don't want to argue in public or anything bad might happen, right? They might hit us or something bad could happen. So instead of that, we will just filming it and let people know that for my suggestion, just look around and see what people do. And if you saw when you do something that people really stare at you, there could have be something. I mean, staring that like in a bad way, you know, not just like look at you and mm, like <laughs> kind of adore you. You're gonna know what exactly how different when you meet that situation. That's the warning from Thai people. We will not say it directly, but we'll use our eyes to show you that we don't like this. Please don't do this or stop whatever you're doing that. 10. Public transportation out of Bangkok is gonna be so difficult. If you go to the province, like a um, tourist province, it's gonna be fine, just like Chiang Mai, Phuket. Actually, I think it's still difficult because they don't have obvious public transportation. I think that's the reason why a lot of foreigners rent a motorbike and then 
they try to survive. If you go to the province non famous or it's far away from Bangkok, it's gonna be so difficult, even though me as a Thai person, like we kind of struggling with that issue too. It's really, really difficult to go around. Number 11, the shop vendor could be annoyed if you do this thing. This is like the thing that for me as a Thai, don't understand as well why this kind of thing happening when you go to buy something at street and then you ask the vendor shop that how much is it and then you touch the thing you want to see the detail you want to see the quality right which is really normal but at the end if you ask the price and then you decide to not buy it they will get upset at you or be annoyed that Oh, after all of that, after you see and touch their stuff and ask for the price, you end up not buying anything and walk away. For my suggestion, I think you should look at the price first. If they have price tag, the window will be more open and welcome for the customer. As we end up this discussion about bad things that you're going to meet in Thailand, and it's important to remember that every country have bad side and negative things i think for acknowledge the problem is the first step to recognize and then prepare yourself to handle with that right so for this kind of problem someone might file it or it might not happen at all or someone might think that is not the issue i think come to another country with open mind is all matter so that's it for today see you for the next one bye